Hi everyone, this is Pam from The Bug Bites with another episode on Gypsy. This time, let's go and explore the open template feature. Right now, as I'm doing this video, the build on the Gypsy is 115 and it's version 1.1. This is the project I'll be working on. It's a word book. I personally like to tag each and everything, so I call this a type 1 word book where the frame remains the same and the tab is staggered. If you want to read more on this, you can see my post understanding the word book in my blog. Now let's go to the gypsy and design. I'll select a 12 by 12 mat and I've set the cursor at 8. I'll go ahead and bring the new arrival cartridge and select the feature I want and the image I want. It's a stroller. I'll go ahead and click outside the mat and reduce the cursor to one and go and get the plantain school book because I want the font to be pretty thick. So I'll select that fat A over there and if you can see here on the keyboard you get a idea that each letter is not the same height. That's why I've gone and clicked the actual height so that each letter will be will remain the same height. So I'll go ahead back to my keyboard layout and select the word baby. I'll go ahead and ungroup it and then move it about on the mat where I want it. At this stage you would take your time to lay it out exactly as you want it because I can, I'll show you later you cannot, <clears throat> you can do a change in the template, but when you start designing the files, if you change, if you go back and make a change on the original template, it will not show up on your design files. I'm now rotating the B to where I want it on the mat. I want the B to lie parallel so click on the rotate and play with these buttons the arrow key the upper arrow keys are for going in the anti-clockwise direction the lower arrow keys are for going clockwise direction and in the same way the positive numbers are for anti-clockwise and the negative numbers for the clockwise and get it approximately parallel and I can then go and place it exactly where I want. I'll do the same things to A, B and Y. Once I have everything where I want to, I'll go back to the 100% mat view and before I save the project, I will take a post-it and make a note of the dimensions, the uh, features I used and the cartridge I used because let me just show you a quick thing if I select the image for you and press the keyboard layout button it's going to show you the last if you look here it shows plant and school book so that's the last cartridge I used so there's no way to know which cartridge I've got that image from so unless you are going to design the same thing on the DS and find out that way. I'd go ahead and make a note of the image and the dimensions, but you can always go and click and find the dimensions here. So that will not be a problem. You can click on the stroller and you can find that and provided you have ungrouped it and select each image individually, you can find the dimensions of the image. So I'll go ahead and 
save this file as baby workbook.